My full name is Dawn Hearn. I am the head athletic trainer. I have been at UTEP for almost 25 years now. I started in August of 1988. I actually went to college initially for fishery and wildlife biology, and they kept saying there weren't any jobs and you weren't going to make any money. And my mom kept telling me I needed to go talk to somebody in physical education. So I had a very good advisor at Iowa State, and after talking to her for about a half hour, she took me down to the athletic training room. And that's how I got started, believe it or not. <laughs> I was a student athletic trainer at Iowa State University from 1982 to 1986. And then I got my national certification in the spring of 1986 and only had one other job for a year from 87 to 88 before I came down to UTEP. So however long that is from 1982 on as a student trainer. And obviously I didn't like the job I was in before. I was only there eight months. It was not a college setting. It just wasn't the appropriate setting for me. And I was fortunate that this job came available in August and I jumped all over it. it makes for some long days. But when I'm not out at practice, I'm usually either out in the training room doing uh, treatments on the athletes or I'm in my office trying to catch up on paperwork. You know, or I'm taking somebody to the doctor or taking guys over to the pool to rehab them in the pool. So I stay pretty busy. I don't really have a time where it's a lull time. When I have a slow time, then I'm supposed to be doing my paperwork and my administrative duties. The worst thing for me is a non-compliant athlete, a compli an athlete that doesn't come in when they're supposed to be here and things like that. And it's real frustrating. Um, and I just keep trying to talk to him and tell him, you know, I told a kid the other day, I swear I worry more about your knee than he does, you know, and uh, I think that turned a light bulb on for him, so I may use that line more than once, but he's been one of my worst guys I've ever had to work with, and it makes it very difficult, because I just don't tolerate that very well. It's my job to get him well. If they aren't in here, then I can't do my job, so that's frustrating to me. We had a really bad year. I don't remember what year it was, but it seemed like probably two-thirds of the way through a season, whether it was football, men's basketball, volleyball, women's basketball, every year one of those seniors would get injured and it'd be, you know, career-ending, you know, so they'd end their career with an injury. And it was just really sad because all those kids were good, really good kids. It was sometime in the late 90s. I can't remember exactly what year it was, but that was, that was a pretty low, you know, just... You know, because that's why I'm here. I'm here for the athletes. And, the, you know, those kids have put four and five years in, and then they end their career abruptly. When I get home at night, my dogs are always happy to see me, so that's kind of a big stress reliever. I could have a really bad day and go home and yell at them or something, and then, you know, five minutes later I'm like, sorry, I'm sorry, it's not your fault. I had a bad day. Come on, you know, come play. So, you know, my dogs help, help tremendously. My dogs right now are Tequila, Kahlua, and Macy Gray. Macy Gray really isn't mine, but the three of them are kind of a little packed, so they have a good time. College athletics is a lot of fun. You know, I get to go to work every day in shorts, t-shirt, and tennis shoes, and I just, you know, my older brother played football, so I grew up around football all the time, watching football, going to football games. You know, when he played high school and college football, we went to all the games. To me, there's nothing better than college athletics. You know, I stay super busy with football, but I also enjoy all the other sports, too. It's it's just a fun but challenging age group to work with.